Hi everyone, welcome back to Dentizen. Today we are here with a new video where we are going to learn how to draw histopathology diagram of Edenomatoid Odontogenic Tumor which is also known as AOT. So before we begin, I want you to quickly subscribe to Dentizen if you have not done that till now. Also hit on the bell icon so that you remain notified about new videos. So before we proceed, let's first understand what are the different things which are present in the histopath of this tumor. Edenomatoid Odontogenic Tumor is a diverse tumor. It has different types of things in this. So the first thing is cells. So it has different types of cells. So first let's understand what are the different cells which are present so there can be cuboidal cells there can be columnar cells there can be polyhedral cells and spindle cells now we have to see how these cells are arranged so the four cells columnar cells can be arranged in duct like structures and that is how the name of this tumor has come adeno means duct or tubular and matoid is like so the duct like structures are formed by these columnar cells which can be of different sizes like this and these tumor cells are arranged here like this and the nuclei of these columnar or cuboidal cells are arranged away from the lumen so this is the lumen or the central space of the duct like structure and the nuclei will be polarized away from this lumen like this so they will resemble ameloblast cells so they are ameloblast like cells and they are forming duct like structure now the inside of this duct may be lined by a pink eosinophilic ring which is known as hyaline ring and this lumen may or may not be sometimes filled with eosinophilic material so that is the first pattern that is duct like structure second is these tumor cells may be arranged like this which is called as rosette pattern like a rose so that is the second pattern which can be found by these columnar cells and they are forming the rose like structure which is known as rosette pattern third is known as convoluted pattern where these tumor cells can be arranged in two layers so we'll draw like this and there is inner layer which is arranged like this and then there is an outer layer which is arranged opposite to this layer like this and if we talk about the nuclei of these two cell layers they are arranged away from each other for example as we can see here for the outer layer the nuclei are arranged here and for the inner layer they are arranged here away so that is called the convoluted pattern that is columnar cells are arranged in convoluted pattern so those are the three patterns for the first cells that is columnar or cuboidal cells they can be duct like structures rosette structures rosette pattern and convoluted pattern then if we talk about the polyhedral cells polyhedral cells can be arranged in nests like this they may be forming nests so they can be different areas different nests like this or sheets so we'll draw the nuclei like this now the third is spindle cells now where are these spindle cells present now these spindle cells are present in between these tumor cell rich areas so in between these tumor rich nodules we will have the space which is filled by the spindle cells so we'll draw spindle cells like this so we have all the three types of cells different types of cells here that we can see there can be cuboidal or columnar cells then there can be polyhedral cells and spindle cells now the patterns which can be found by columnar cells duct like structure rosette pattern convoluted pattern polyhedral cells present in nests and spindle cells filling the spaces in between apart from that we have two other components one is second component is a myeloid like material which is pink staining material which can be present here in between the tumor cells and the third is calcifications which are blue colored again present in between the tumor cells like this so that is how we are going to draw the different components so it is a diverse tumor we have to draw different cells amyloid like material calcification cells will be arranged in different patterns duct like structure rosette structure convoluted pattern polyhedral cells in nests and spindle cells in between these tumor rich tumor cell rich areas so let's see how we are going to fill all these things in the circle so first of all we are going to fill the cells because cells are the main component of this tumor so large area large part of the circle will be filled with cells so we are going to draw the first cells that is columnar cells which are forming three patterns duct like structures rosette pattern and convoluted pattern so first of all we'll draw the duct like structures like this 
lined by these cells. Inside of this duct-like structure is lined by a pink layer, which is called the hyaline ring. Second pattern is the rosette pattern, as you can see here. And third is convoluted pattern. After that, we'll draw the certain areas, which will be filled with polyhedral cells, as you can see. And within these nests of polyhedral cells, we'll see leave some space to fill the pink material. Then the third is spindle cells, which are present in between these areas. Before that, we'll fill the nuclei of all these polyhedral cells. And then we'll fill the spindle cells which are present in between all these areas in the empty space. So that is how we are going to draw the spindle shaped cells as we are drawing here. And then we'll fill the nuclei of these cells. And we have also filled the pink amyloid like material in the polyhedral areas, polyhedral cell areas. In the remaining left area, that is small area, we can say we'll fill the connective tissue. So you can see very less connective tissue, scanned connective tissue is seen, which is filled with the blood vessels collagen fibers and fibroblasts so that is and then the blue colored calcifications so that is the adenomatoid odontogenic tumor histopath so let's do the labeling now so the first is duct like structures from which the name has come adenomatoid formed by columnar cells and lined by hyaline ring pink ring second is convoluted pattern of these cells and third is the rosette pattern of these tumor cells as you can see here so these three patterns then we have polyhedral cells and then we have amyloid like material in in between these cells and then we have spindle cells filling the area between the nodules then we have connective tissue which is scanned and we have calcifications so that is the histopath diagram of adenomatoid odontogenic tumor if you really like the video you enjoyed the video do tap on the like button also share the video with your friends and keep watching keep learning see you in the next video till then take care bye, -bye.